Hello everyone, this is Sarah with the York County Library. Welcome to day 25, the real day 25, of the Daily Drawing Challenge. I am following a Daily Drawing Challenge that is available through Creative Bug. Creative Bug is an online learning service that is available for free to all York County Library card holders. It has hundreds of tutorials on various arts and crafts skills, so if you're looking to develop an existing skill or uh, create a new one, then please check out Creative Bug today. There are links down in the description below that tell you how to get to our online learning services. And if you don't have a library card with us right now, there are also links in the description that give you information on how to get a temporary e-card. So, if you'd like to follow along with me on Creative Bug, the daily drawing challenge that I'm doing is 29 things to draw with Molly Hatch and Heather Ross. And today is day 25. Today we are going to be doing a blind contour drawing of flowers. I don't have any flowers around the house. I do have some flowers that I'm going to be using for a flower still life on another day. So for today I'm going to be looking at Google Images to find pictures of flowers that I would like to draw. Uh, maybe you have books with images of flowers around the house. Maybe you have flowers outside in the garden or in a park nearby. Maybe you can go take a picture of one and draw from that, or maybe you can draw the real thing. Really excited for today. Um, so for those who don't know what blind contour is, it's basically challenging yourself to draw something without looking at what you are the paper as you're drawing. Um, you can always sneak a peek every now and then. It's not a clad <laughs> iron contract, um, but it is uh, inviting you to look at the object and then not look at what you're drawing on the page. So it's a fun challenge and we get to look at pretty flowers. So let's get into day 25. Okay so for day 25 we are going to be doing blind contours of flowers. So I have brought up a few images on my computer screen of flowers that have different shapes. So here I am drawing the first flower. I like this one because the petals were few, but they were large and they reached out. I had to show which petal was on top, and then it had this interesting structure in the middle. When I first started drawing this, I was like, oh, I don't know if this is going to look like it, but once everything came together, it really did match what I was seeing. So on to the next, we're going to do a different shape. This is going to be a tulip and it has petals that overlap with each other, kind of like a rose going upwards, but they usually stay pretty vertical. And it was fun to draw that one as well, a little bit of a stem. Here we are with Pansy. <laughs> I really like these growing up. I remember visiting my Aunt Katie's house and she would have them in her yard. They always look like they have like a little face. Then the next one I decided I would use a different color to overlap with the drawing on the first page. And this was a flower that had several petals coming from the middle. So I drew the outline, then I drew the middle structure, and then tried to communicate with my marks what I was seeing with the petals closer to the structure in the middle, and then how they changed as they reached the outside of the flower. Switched up to give it a different color stem, and there we go. I decided I'd do one more, decided to use some colors, and redraw the pansy I drew earlier. Give a little bit more definition with the color to what I was seeing in the middle, to that little face. Finishing up the petals and the purple on the outside. And there we go. My little garden of doodles. 
And that was day 25, the real day 25. Um, I really enjoyed looking up different kinds of flowers, different shapes of flowers, different variety of flowers so that I could make different marks on the page. I liked those that kind of went out like this with few petals. I then did the um, tulip which had petals that went straight up. Um, it was a lot of fun. So I hope that you enjoyed it too. I hope you got to draw some flowers that you enjoy. I um, hope you challenged yourself and you found something fun and fresh and flowery about this experience. So now that today is the actual day 25, we do in fact only have day 26, 27, 28, and 29 left. So now we have four days left. And I'm very excited about two of the lighter challenges. I believe it's day 27 and the last day are going to be bigger projects. I'm going to break out my bigger pad of paper for those. Um, so I hope you join me for day 26, but until then friends, stay safe and stay creative your county. Thank you for being here today. Hmm? It's a good girl. Thank you. Oh, thank you.